So I built some real ODM gear, and it actually works. It's an insane gadget from the show Attack on Titan that lets the user move in all directions, hence the name. It works by first shooting a rope dart from the hip, which sticks into nearby buildings, trees, titans, whatever else. Then motors on the hip pull the user through the air towards the target, then the rope detaches somehow, and they're off. They actually got two rope darts and motors, one on each hip so they can swing with one at a time or both or whatever other crazy way they want to use it. Point is, it's an insane anime show and pretty much impossible to make in real life. Right? Well, in another video, I made some real Spider-Man web shooters that you can actually swing with. Then all you internet heroes kindly commented telling me that it would be way better as ODM gear. Spider-Man swinging not good enough for you, huh? Well, whatever. I'm a man of the people. I'll take a crack at it. But y'all gotta drop another idea for what I should make next and upvote the ones you like so I know it's popular. Last time to make it shoot, I used these CO2 gas cartridges right here. Problem is this time, it's not quite powerful enough to get the range that I want. So I'm gonna upgrade this valve right here to this. It actually works off the same cartridges, but dumps all the CO2 at once. We gotta add some other stuff loaded. Much more powerful, clearly, because it dumps all that gas instantly at once through that hole, which is much more efficient. So let's rig up an electronic switch to test this remotely and just see what happens. A lot of power, but it's spinning, which isn't good if we want it to stick. Plus, we still got out of rope somehow. Luckily, these two problems actually cancel each other out if we do it right. By trailing a rope from behind the dart, it actually keeps it facing forward just like fins. But how do you actually attach the rope? Like, it seems simple, but we want the rope to be attached to the tip. That way when it sticks in, swing from the fulcrum and not back here where it'll snap the dart. But when it's flying through the air, we want to attach to the back. Otherwise, it'll flip around backwards. The secret is that we only want it temporarily attached to the back. So dart pops out of the barrel, and now this rope is trailing behind, flying through. On impact, it sticks, and when we try and swing, it breaks away. And now we're swinging from the front. Ta-da! So I'm using this Kevlar cord that's actually rated for like 2,000 pounds. Oh, that hurts so bad. Ow, ow. And I think we're actually gonna double up for extra strength. But to do that, you can't just like twist it together like this because, you know, it'll just come untwisted. A little rope making tip. While you're twisting the two ends together, you actually wanna spin each strand the other way like this. So as it's wrapping, spin. That way it starts to lock itself together. And when you tie it off, it won't just come undone. All right, 15 seconds. <laughs> See the rope sail. After fixing the rapid disassembly, we tried again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Until finally. But just shooting a dart into a surface isn't quite enough to hold me. Like it's gotta go really deep to hold my weight plus all the added force of me swinging. So I came up with this dart mechanism. Basically a miniaturized powder actuated hammer like the ones you can get from Home Depot that on impact will drive a spike into whatever surface it hits. And the best part, it even works on angles, which is actually super important because a lot of the times we're gonna come in from the side. So my plan is to actually shoot two darts from each hip, four darts total to really give us the best chance of sticking. So we doubled up the barrels and moved to a much stronger mechanical trigger. Okay, we can, we can fix that, but more urgently, they're not firing at the same time either. Uh, which is important because they're connected to the same rope. If one doesn't fire, it drags the other one and really slows everything down. The good thing though about this setup is that the darts are on a loop. So whichever angle we're swinging from, the darts share the weight evenly. So try a new design and after a few more rapid disassemblies, we ended up with a fully metal, very robust launching system. Basically, this spring-loaded lever is locked in place with a quick release. So when you pull the string, the bar slams down and hits the two chambers, firing both instantly at the exact same time. Hopefully. All right, ready? Yeah. Whoa! Wow. 
Yeah. Who's <laughs> crazy kid? Dude, I should pull this over. Catch the ladder, see? Okay, very promising, you know, minus the fact that we're launching with so much power now that the darts sometimes prematurely detonate. If that happens, as you see, it doesn't stick as well. Not the best stick on this one, but this one. In there. Whoo! Dangerous. That's not too big of a problem. We just have to secure it down a little bit better. Also, if you want to shoot rope webs like this, go check out our web shooters available now on our website. Just shoot it. It'll stick with a magnet or suction cup. Then it automatically rewinds and you're good to shoot again. It's insanely fun. So if you want, go check it out. Link below. But we still have to make our own giant reel system. Actually, in my last Spider-Man video, I used a reel on my belt that could help with swinging. So I think a much bigger version of that should actually work great. My old reel had a single motor on the front of my waist. But looking at the show, they actually have a dual reel system on the back of their waist. So that's how I'm gonna try and do it. So I got a motor twice as powerful as last time and then doubled it. Then I mounted both the motors to a frame and a harness with spools coming out on either side to wind up the cable. And let's give it a test. On both of them? It's super sensitive. Yeah, these motors are basically all or nothing. Also, it broke too. I do remember at one point that was straight, in fact. So I took the opportunity to rebuild and add a gearbox to trade some of that speed for torque. Oh, man. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? I don't know now. <laughs> Originally, I thought having separate motors would be better. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's two remotes, so it's more of a balance now. That makes sense. I think <laughs> I got a connect on it. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Wow. That's got some kick. It's riding up a little high. I don't know the best way to, like, where to put it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it looks like you're just getting the biggest wedge. Like the biggest wedge. This is because the rope spools are behind my center of mass. So if you pull on it, I just get flipped forward. <laughs> Dude, I've given myself like six points so far. <laughs> That's promising. Honestly, it might not look promising. It actually does work if we sit on it like a swing, but it's not ideal. <laughs> it's the most cursed swing, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh, I broke the helmet. It's okay. We'll just edit that. So I thought about using some straps to put some of the weight through my feet, kind of like they do in the show. I thought that would keep me from rotating as much, which it would, but problem is, as soon as I bend my leg, the tension goes away and I just fall forward. So instead I added a pulley to move the tension point forward right over my center of mass. Hey. Hey, nice. We're holding. Oh. oh, this works much better and I'm able to hang out comfortably almost any angle. Oh, there you go, yeah. You basically need this. Yep. That's when I'm running. Mm hmm. And yep. then, like, every angle up till vertical. So I put on my air and fit and gave it another shot. Whoa! That looks way more comfortable than the last time I saw you do it. Okay, this is awesome. I'm super happy with the speed and control. Now we have the two parts, shooting and winding. We just gotta combine them. And of course, can't forget about the swords. They carry them in sheaths on their hip, but of course these aren't just any normal swords. They're actually meant to break, kind of like an X-Acto snap-off blade. When this happens, they eject the broken part and grab a new blade from their sheath that connects to the sword handle. All right, let's try and make exactly that. Never a bad day when four swords show up. That's mean. Oh, oh, oh God, oh God, God. Making the housing out of one eighth inch wood and laser cutting it all to slot together nicely. Also added some 3D printed spacers with a V taper to help guide the blades inside and also give the sheath some extra stability. Now we gotta make two of these, one for each hip so that each one can store a couple extra blades. But the handle's actually where the magic happens. We tried to make it look as close to the show as possible, but inside we added a spring-loaded lever system. So with the push of a button, you can drop one blade, then press it onto another one. It'll automatically lock in place thanks to these grooves right here. Then just pull it out and you're good to go. You can even throw them like they do in the show. 
They're also great for everyday use, like making food. Like, I'm actually a horrible chef. All right, add that cheese. Zach, oh, yeah, stir it up. The only utensil we're using. But even a guy who cooks only with swords can end up making an amazing meal with HelloFresh. Plus, I'm saving like an hour a day now, too. In this HelloFresh box, there's everything you need to make a delicious meal. It gets shipped right to your door, so you don't have to waste time at the grocery store, only to find out you bought nothing you actually needed. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, use it as a scraper. Perfect. Wow. That's that secret sauce. A little bit of cheese on there. One pan cheeseburger lettuce wrapped, cooked by a scout. Mmm. I'm like really hungry right now. This is amazing. Oh, there you go. Mmm. Like a. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to fight you for that last one. Now that fall's right around the corner, you know, people are getting busy. So make your food one less thing to stress about. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50JLaser at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Link below. But will it actually work? These are now pressurized pile of the string in these two chambers. That way it'll easily come out like that. Always a little intimidating the first time. Before basically going inside my hip. There's three lasers on here too, so. Four. Four? Oh. <laughs> Ding. I added these two lasers to help with aiming and a range finder so we'll know if we're within our 60 foot rope range. It's about 35 feet to that wall. Ah, okay, don't miss. <laughs> how how could I miss, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying anything, dude. All right, uh, you good? I'm good, man, are you good? Uh. Oh my god. Right, let's see if that's enough to reel me. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, let's go. Okay, well. Hey, first test, man. That was good. That was really good. Solid 80%, maybe. Yeah. I just shot a little low. Turns out you can miss, but they all shot. Yeah. I moved a little bit. Yeah. I think all the, all the steps happened. Yeah. Which is better than none of the steps happening or some of them. Only way it would have gone better if I'd shot a little higher. I'm gonna look at the footage and see like where the lasers. Yeah, went. and then where it went. My hunch is they're not calibrated. <laughs> Dude. I never shot any of these from my hip. That was the first time I shot anything from my hip. That's crazy. So, it is what it is. Shoot, stick, reel. Yeah. This time we're gonna aim high. Aim high. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Turns out it's pretty hard to reel and slide because the rope I'm trying to hold on to for balance is being reeled up. Combine that with the super sensitive, very powerful motors, not easy. Let's go, Aaron. Whoa. A little bit of heat on that one. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You pulled the wall out. All right, reset. All right. do it but like yeah being a scout's not easy man now don't worry you should have watched Aaron when he did it he was terrible he almost failed <laughs> but he didn't he didn't that's the thing real world people do fail <laughs> wait Jay we're supposed to be inspirational I know but it's hard this thing hurts <laughs> and it's how's the wedgie the wedgie's freaking back oh god I thought I got rid of it <laughs> it's coming back I think I got, I mean, I'm on my feet, yep. and I'm standing at the edge. Let's go. Now, the real test. <laughs> Get it, real? All right, never mind. Can we do this up a wall? This is gonna be insanely hard. For starters, I'm not sure if I can even aim that high. Yeah. Uh, this is the part people don't think about. Like, how do you, 
The point of the board is supposed to go up. It's a half backflip and then you fire and then reel yourself up before you hit the ground. It's simple. It's a little difficult. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I can run up the wall. You can technically run up the wall. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know if it looked cool, but it felt cool. Yeah, I kind of nailed that shot. No, that was great. <laughs> pretty solid sticks on this side. That was as good as a, of a first test as you could want, honestly. Even though it's just one, it's still very strong. I can clearly hang off of it, so that's why we got two. So this is a barn window, and it's two stories up. Let's see what happens. Nice, let's go! Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. You see that? That was crazy, you're up here now. Just ran up that wall. That was absurd. Woo! First try. Can you hit me with one of these? Yeah, there you go. I just yanked myself up. <laughs> we should probably do that again, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> do it again, it worked great. Hey, those are in. Yeah. I'm super happy it reels me up fast enough that it actually pulls me through the air sideways, kind of like the show. But I can't pretend it always works. That's so exciting. Dude, that was crazy. It's so fast, dude. It's so fast. All right. Off to fight more Titans. He's dead. Look at that cut. That was clean. That felt so cool. <laughs> that I was like, gotta get high enough. <laughs>